previously. We are gonna have one more. I'll be right back with you all. So it continues. Alrighty, let's continue. So, as per usual, you may skip if you see this you, the time code. You can skip to that. First time, uh, first time uh, bullet time battle. Absolutely, I would like to hear. Sometimes during class trial, your opponent simply won't hear to what you have to say. Wow, that's a lot of health and focus on her, on him. Um, or I mean, I suppose influence it is called. When this happens, you will engage them in a head-to-head -head battle. We like to refer to this as the time battle, bullet time battle, BTB, B AKA the BTB, WTB, BDW. BT dub. During the PTB, you want to destroy your opponent's statements in time with the rhythm. Oh, rhythm game. Awesome. Match your button presses with, the, with each tempo marker as they move across the screen and reach the center. Uh, press A button to lock onto an opponent's statement. Uh, destroy the statement you've locked on to, with the Y button as tempo marker reach this, reaches the center. Use this method to deal damage to your opponent. If you can't pull it off, you'll be the one in pain. Do this consecutively and you start a combo. Keep this going and you'll initiate a tempo up. On the flip side, if you keep missing, you'll get into a tempo down situation. When the tempo changes, so does the timing for hitting each button. So watch out for that. Deal enough damage to your opponent and their weak spot statement will appear. At that point you can press the Y button to shoot it down with a truth bullet like any other statement. Refute their statement fast enough and you'll come out victorious. Just like before, but just like before, if your influence gauge Reaches zero or you if you run out of time you fail Well, then good luck and have fun Oh All right, it's time to have a quite a bit of fun They didn't use anything from your room to do it. So what did the killer use? Ah What did the killer use to take apart the doorknob? I refuse to acknowledge you you're stupid Stupid, stupid, stupid! Stupid, 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 hmm. stupid! Okay. I have to show indisputable evidence that Leon is the killer, so that will be the toolkit. I need to figure it out. Moment of truth. Where's your proof? You kidding me? Not a chance! It wasn't me! Stupid! You lie! Shut up! Where's your proof? You kidding me? Not a chance! You lie! Where's your proof? You kidding me? Not a chance! It wasn't me! Stupid! You lie! Shut up! Where's your proof? You kidding me? Not a chance! You lie! Shut up! Stupid! Where's your proof? You kidding me? Not a chance! It wasn't me! Stupid! You lie! Alrighty, like, it's, it, that was a bit harder, proof? hard to figure out. This should prove it! Oh my, that was a bit hard to figure out, but okay. The screws on the bathroom doorknob were removed. I wonder what kind of tool the killer used to remove them. I mean, yeah. it had to be a screwdriver, right? Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure the toolkits we got each had one inside. And that must be what he used. There aren't any other tools anywhere. True. But the toolkit in my room awesome. had clearly never been used. That's because the culprit didn't know it was your room. They thought they were in Sayaka's room. Only the boys got toolkits. 
so the killer naturally assumes there wouldn't be one in there. Okay, then whose toolkit did the killer use? Stupid, stupid, stupid! <laughs> it had to be their very own toolkit. Stupid, 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 stupid! Leon, would you mind showing us your toolkit? If I'm right about this, then... Yeah. The screwdriver will show some evidence of being used. Stupid, stupid, stupid! Huh? And if you say you used it for something else, you'll have to explain exactly when, where, and why. Yeah. And let me say this right now. I lost it isn't an excuse at this point. Stupid. Stupid. And so we win. <laughs> oh, wow. Now that is a pretty cool visual. So, you have no rebuttal? Then it would seem we are finished here. Oh my, uh, we have already condemned him. Oh boy. A. <coughs> uh. Well, A on everything else except this. Oh wow, that's a lot of medals. <laughs> Looks like you've reached your verdict. Then are we ready to cast our votes? You all have a lever in front of you. Use it to make your selection. Oh my. Oh, just to remind you all, make triple sure you vote for someone. You wouldn't want to be punished for something so minor, right? True. Okay, then let's get excited! Who will be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice? Or the dreadfully wrong one? Yeah. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Oh, we don't have to vote. Okay. That seems awfully fancy for something so de evil, or <laughs> what it mean for what it means. Uh oh, looks like you got it right on the money. The blackened in this case, the one that killed Sayaka, Yahoo! was none other than Leon Kubada. Huh? Hey, hold on. Hold on a second. Leon. Leon, did you really kill Sayaka? But, but I, I don't believe it. You son of a bitch! Son of a bitch, what the hell is wrong with you? I, I didn't have a choice. It was kill or be killed. So that's why... So that's why I killed her first. None of you are any different! One wrong step and you'd be the one standing here. It was com a complete chance that I wound up like this. I was just... <laughs> I was just... Unlucky. Unlucky. That's all. Oh, boy. Hey, come on! Do you expect me to just accept my death? Everything's become clear. The decision we made was right after all. But when I think about that... Honestly, I'd be better off if we'd been wrong. Because if what we came up with really is the truth, then that, that truth is that Sayaka was trying to frame me. But even if that's true, I can't say she was wrong. After all, the mastermind, it's all because of that video. Yeah, even I couldn't handle what I saw in there. If I was her, and the video actually had something to do with me, I can't even imagine. Now we're trapped here with no way out. They are probably waiting for me. Why? I can't Why? afford to be stuck in here. And the one thing that was more important to her than anything else, her dreams, her friends. To have si to see something like that happen to them. And Sayaka. I did whatever it took to reach that dream. 
I mean it. Even some things that weren't so pleasant. And that's why Sayaka, for the friends that meant so much to her, that's why she betrayed me. So, when she said... No matter what happens, please always be there for me. I need you on my side. She was lying to me from the very beginning. She was using me. Is that why she talked to me in the first place? I, I guess I'll never know. Because there's nothing I can do to ask her what she was thinking. Once you're dead, that's that. <laughs> Boy, howdy, the entertainment industry sh must sure be terrifying, huh? I mean, to try and kill someone just because of those relationships. Ba -bum, ba -bum. She seemed so nice and lovely on the outside, but inside, she descended into pure madness. W what did you say? Phew. I understand, I really do. Yep, yep. You're in utter despair thanks to Sayaka's betrayal, right? Compassion, intimacy, love. The stronger those feelings, the stronger the despair when they collapse. Stop screwing with us, this is all your fault. Sayaka been forced to do something like that. All of it, everything. It's all your fault. Suddenly, in a frenzy, I lunged at Monokuma. But... That's enough. As angry as I was, Kyoko latched onto my arm without hesitation. Her grip was like iron. Strong enough, it was sure it, I was sure it would leave a bruise. Calm down. If you really want to make her enemies pay for what they've done, they you need to let it go for now. Damn it. Ba -bam, ba -bam. Oh, that was a close one. I thought for sure you were gonna give me a good walloping. <laughs> Just barely avoided punishment you did. Yes, indeed! Now then, since you so magnificently revealed the identity of the killer during the class trial, the blackened Leon Kuvara will receive his punishment. Pun punishment? You mean... execution? Wait a second! I, I didn't have a choice. I had to kill her. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. I was just protecting myself in the heat of the moment. It was self-defense. Is that okay? How exactly was it self-defense? Hmm. When you forced your way into the bathroom, did you or did you not use your very own toolkit? After she'd such shut herself in the bathroom, you went out of your way to head back to your own room. Then you came all the way back, broke into the bathroom and killed her, am I wrong? Do you understand? You had any number of chances to stop what you were doing. But you chose not to. Is it not because you had an unclouded intent to commit murder? So, that's no, why... No, that's not. Stop it. I've had enough of this. Oh. Oh, are you sure? You were closer to her than anyone, were you not? He killed your precious Sayaka, do you understand? I can't say Leon is solely to blame. Of course I don't plan on blaming Sayaka either. Because... Because the one to blame is him. Huh? You are? If it weren't for you, this w never would have happened to Sayaka or Leon. We shouldn't be fighting each other. We should be fighting against the one who put us in this situation. The mastermind. Unbelievable. Uh oh, did you awaken to your sense of justice? Hey, um... Well, it just so happens that there's nothing more unethical than an unwavering sense of justice. After all, it's people with that sort of mentality that perpetuate war all over the world. Hmm. Is that the kind of justice that's awakened within you? Just shut up. Hmm. Okay, well anyway, more importantly... Thrills, let's hurry up. Kills, kills. Let's hurry up and get to what everyone's been waiting for, the punishment. I'm begging you, please, don't do this! Hey! Come on now! No more begging, no more excuses. You must pay the penalty for breaking the rules. Society demands it. Stop! Please! Now then, I've prepared a very special punishment! For Leon Kubara, the ultimate baseball star. No, 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 no! Let's give it everything we've got! It's punishment time! All right.
right here. No! No, oh, actual animation. That's freaking brutal. What we saw, that was the true face of despair. I mean, if we can't call it that, what else could we call it? Extreme! <laughs> Man, my adrenaline is pumping right out of control. Do we really have to keep doing this? I just can't take it. Well? Well, hey, if you don't like it. <laughs> all you gotta do is swear to cut, cut all ties with the outside world and accept living here forever. But that's only if every single one of you can get on board with that. <laughs> Damn you! Man, fuck you. Why the hell fuck are you doing all this evil shit to us? What the heck? Evil? You make it sound like I'm some dark, awful, secret society type of guy. Say what? Or in this case, a dark, awful, secret society type of bear. Well... So, why are you putting an upstanding young citizen like me through such a grueling ordeal? Hey, um... It seems like you're trying to use common sense to make sense of something that doesn't make sense. That's like trying to put, put a mile on a scale. I just don't think it's possible. Um... Hey, uh, I don't think what you're saying and what I'm saying quite fit together. <sighs> shit, you piece of shit. I don't know who you are, but I'm gonna pound your ass into the ground. <laughs> oh, you must really hate me to get so angry, huh? But if you do that, you're bugging way up the wrong th tree. <laughs> what happened, happened because more than one of you decided you wanted to get out, right? No matter how much time passes, you can't cut free of your regrets from the outside world. You're to blame. <laughs> of course we can't uh, cut free of the outside world. Being trapped in this insane place. <laughs> hmm, you're trapped, are you? Well, I'm sure once you learn all the mysteries of this school, your thinking will change for sure. You'll think, boy, isn't it so wonderful how we all get to live here forever? What does this mean? What are you trying to say? Hey. I feel like there's some deeper meaning hidden in there. Just like before. Thrills, chills, kills! Anyway, let... Uh, Let's get to the blackened, uh, blackened punishment. That's what everyone is waiting for, after all. Hey. When you say everyone, who exactly are you referring to? Yeah, could it, could it actually be that all of this is, you know, 
something like televised or something? <laughs> Sorry, I said everything I've gotta say. I need to save some of the fun for later. <laughs> and just like that he was gone. He left us there overwhelmed by a nightmare turned reality. Damn, that's awesome. Even after he was gone, we stood there forever, unable to move. Actually, no. It wasn't that long, I think. Everyone just lost their sense of time. We were all too scared. Scared of being alone. No one even tried to speak. Their faces were stone, their voices dead. But it was in that moment. Just a second. Makoto, can I talk to you for a second? She moved in close and whispered, whispered into my ear. Makoto. Before we head back, there's something I want to talk to you about. It's about Sayaka, isn't it? I'm surprised you figured it surprised you figured it out. Well, that's the most likely case. So listen. I told you before the class rail started. You had to figure out the mystery of this case yourself. You wanted me to realize how Saika betrayed me by myself, didn't you? you? Then the thought never even crossed my mind. I feel like like such a fool becoming such an easy target like that. It's true. Saika meant to double cross you. That's a fact that you can never change. But even till the very end, she wasn't sure of her decision. That's why she, as she lay dying, she was thinking of you. She was thinking of me? You can't just say something like that. I mean, there's no way you can know that. Only Saika would know for sure, and we can't ask her now. However... Even if you can't ask her, you can infer it, don't you think? Her final thought was how she could protect you. What? So... The fact that she used her last ounce of energy to leave her dying message proves it. If she didn't care what happened to you, she never would have left that message. Well, maybe she was just wanted maybe she just wanted to get back at the person who had killed her. Certainly. That's certainly one possibility. But I don't think that's what it was. Anyway. She was uncertain. She wasn't sure she could kill someone or deceive you. Which is why her plan failed. Her hesitation attracted failure. Right. It's almost ironic when you think about it. Why are you telling me all this? Because you're the kind of person who can overcome this. Because you can move past the deaths of your friends, Sayaka and Leon, and keep moving forward. Correct. Without someone like that, the others would never be able to break free of such desperate situation. Move past their deaths? That's... I could never do that. No. I'm going to carry them with my with me the rest of my life. How could I possibly move past something like that? Leon, Sayaka. Not mentioning Dunko. Oh oh well. I'll carry them with me forever. I'll carry their memories with me wherever I go. So instead of forgetting them, you're choosing the hard road. <laughs> Well, I have high expectations of you. As she said that, she revealed the smallest smile. Hey. By the way, I have to admit, I'm curious. How did you know I wanted to talk to you about Sayaka? Oh, well. I'm psychic. Breaking the mood, huh? Okay. I'm psychic. What? Huh? Kidding. I just have pretty good intuition. And so the chapter one draws to a close with a very brutal ending. <sighs> yeah. Death count. To be continued. I received the despair bat, bat present. Save data. I certainly will.
and since I saved data, now will be a good time to stop. Though I will try, like, I should be able to. Um, save here as well. But now is a good time to stop. For now. And so the first class trial draws to a close. Now I must say that was freaking amazing. That was frankly speaking excellent. Just absolutely fantastic. It portrayed so many of the elements that made it so freaking great. Which is the innovative gameplay, the amazing detective work, the un like the way that you can draw logical conclusions by just following the clues throughout and you could actually draw, infer those things from before that and that is so freaking amazing i i really love that and so really freaking great first trial and i hope that the rest of the trials will live up to that because it's really good it's really freaking good now i really must give the show it's uh, the game why do i keep calling them shows whatever a compliment for putting us as the primary suspect in the first trial because that really emphasizes the control the urgency and well everything the all of the important aspects just immediately because you have to get good at this otherwise you you are being like because you are the suspect you have to defend yourself that is so darn good i can't even imagine tell you how like it's hard to describe how great that is. It's minor detail. Okay, not that minor, but it's a really good and important detail. And of course, there was a lot of sloppiness in the and the first murder was started with an kind of an accidental failed murder. And that's also like all of the important details there were really really well done. So it absolutely presents a wonderful case for the first um, trial. I will be doing the voices only on the da da daily life sections and only when there's nothing, you know, emotional or important going on. But as you noticed, I am trying to do at the very least a little bit differentiation, but not nothing ridiculous. Mostly just, well, very few things. Anyways, it's freaking fantastic. Although reading so much is a bit tiresome, but it is really fantastic nonetheless. I thank you all very much for watching. I hope to see you in the future. Have a great day and stay awesome. Thank you for watching. Gunmo out.